I'm walking by, I know the truth is it's my and welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm gonna be doing like a get ready with me slash girl talk i did a girl talk like last month i think and like everybody was like oh my gosh like i want another one and y'all keep commenting like we need more girl talks blah, 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 blah. so i'm gonna do a girl talk today and i'm gonna also be installing this wig i already have my makeup on but it's still gonna be a get ready with me because i still have to install this wig this wig is from not beauty hair yeah not beauty hair comes in this box um it came with two wig caps i'm gonna just come in a car with like a hair clip this is cute but like this is giving me very much like five-year-old vibes i don't know if it's focusing but like it's just giving me like very much like like i'm three so i won't be wearing this but thank you anyways i'm gonna be doing like a self-confidence girl talk a lot of people ask me for advice on like how to have self-confidence how to deal with insecurities like this that and the third so that's what i'm gonna be talking about today because i feel like my confidence has grown tremendously like since i was a kid i used to get bullied and i was never like insecure but i had a lot of insecurities but just you can have insecurities and still be confident don't don't let that like you know a lot of people think that like all these celebrities they're all like they're mad confident they don't they love everything by themselves like no everybody has insecurities that's one um before i start this wig is too small for my head like it's dead too small <laughs> it's nothing that i could do about it i don't know what to do because the, the wig cap is kind of like in the front of where the where the hair starts i don't know how about to install this like thank god it's a middle part so the hair will be very much like covering the sides because i know it's not gonna look nice but anyways um the first thing that i I'm gonna talk about is basically what I was talking about how everybody has insecurities people need to realize that nobody is perfect nobody thinks that they're perfect and if you do baby you're not sorry to tell you you know it's normal to have insecurities now to be insecure because of your insecurities you shouldn't you really shouldn't be insecure because you have insecurities because everybody has insecurities whether you might think that's an insecurity for them or not everybody has insecurities like I have insecurities insecurity is not always about how you look though like a lot of people have insecurities like internally and I feel like you're personality weighs more than how you look you know so like let's just say you have a lot of like external insecurities like you know physical that you can actually see but you know your heart is pure everybody loves your personality that's something to be proud of whereas people have this perfect person or like look perfect they're pretty they have a nice body or whatever but nobody wants to be around them because they're mad like mean or they have an attitude or whatever so I'd rather like not be as attractive as this person who has an attitude and still be a good person but with that being said don't ever compare yourself to nobody you comparing yourself to other people that's just like the worst thing you can do because why do you want to be like this person be yourself like be unique i feel like it's better to outstand somebody than to fit in with people like if you're different embrace that embrace the fact that you're different don't want, don't try to be like everybody else just because like oh they may seem cool because at the end of the day what do they have that you don't that you can't get if you want a flat stomach work out if you want longer hair find a better hair care like you know because like for me when i was little i always wanted long hair but when i started doing my own hair baby my hair was very short and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna have long hair. And guess what? I'm growing my hair out. So baby, I'm gonna have long hair. If I want a flat stomach, I'm gonna make sure that I work for it. People love to say like, oh, this person has a perfect body and compare themselves to these Instagram models with baby. They all have surgery. Like those, that's not real. And if it is real, they worked for it. It's not because people wake up with abs and a flat stomach and I have a perfect body. No, it's either you pay for it or you work for it. There's no, you're gonna wake up with it. So I feel like if you really have like um insecurities about like, like, you know your body and stuff and I'm not gonna say this is easy cuz I even struggle with you know like my body or whatever cuz like my weight fluctuates crazy I'm not saying I'm fat but like sometimes you know when you just feel like you don't feel good about yourself you just look in the mirror you're just like ill I feel like that sometimes and that's the thing everybody has that like every single person has those days where they just don't like the way they look but like if you really want something then you're gonna have to work for it and I tell myself this all the time like Michael you always complain about your body but so that's what i have to do so that's one thing don't compare yourself to nobody because you really like everybody is different everybody has insecurities tell yourself like yo i'm a baddie like i'm that you know if you tell yourself these things you're gonna believe it and if you're being bullied baby don't don't listen to them because one bullies are always the, your number one haters they hate on you because you have something that they don't nobody's just gonna sit there and hate on you for no reason like who what what type of fun do you get out of that and the only reason why people do that is to make themselves feel better it's not because they genuinely hate you 
Like, people don't just go around doing that unless they have internal problems. Bullies have problems with them themselves. So if somebody's telling you that you're ugly and that's why you feel like you're ugly, why, why are you listening to them? Who, who's to say that you're ugly? Like, if you feel like you're pretty, if you feel like you're beautiful, who's to tell you that you're ugly? Like, I'm gonna have to say breaks because, you know, I gotta blow dry this and y'all, I dead can't talk over that blow dryer, so. Another thing, you should always do something that you love to do. So, in order to, like, really have, like, self-confidence or whatever, you have to tell yourself, like, I'm beautiful. And sometimes people feel that they're pretty because they have certain things like for example every girl loves to get their hair done Every girl loves to have their not every girl But a lot of girls, you know like to get their nails done like to feel like you know They're pretty when they have their hair done when they have their nails done their eyebrows on their lashes or whatever the case may be Like you know you feel better about yourself and more confident when you when you actually like I don't know I don't know how to describe it because it's like me personally I get my hair and nails eyebrows done for myself That's why I feel confident when I get my stuff done because it's for me a lot of people that do it for boys and stuff you know like oh let me get my hair done so this boy thinks i'm cute no baby don't do that because then what if you get your hair done and he still doesn't think you're cute now you're gonna be even more sad and be like damn like i tried all of this and you know i'm still not even getting working like don't do nothing for nobody you should always do stuff for yourself because you want to because it makes you happy because you feel good that's really how you get self-confidence self-confidence comes from, from within self-confidence doesn't come from people telling you that you're beautiful because a thousand people could tell you you're pretty and if you still feel like you're ugly you're still not gonna have self-confidence so it all comes from within believe yourself look in the mirror and be like yo like you're mad pretty because I, I do it every day I don't care what nobody thinks I don't care who thinks what like my own mother could think I'm ugly and I know she don't but I'm just saying like even my mother thought I was ugly like that does not mean anything to me like okay like I don't I really don't care what nobody thinks like anybody can think I'm ugly and it really would not matter to me because of the fact that I myself personally think that I like the way I look if I like the way I look why you know let's say if you have a pair of sneakers and you like the way they look somebody else calls them ugly you're gonna be like okay well I like them that's why I bought them that's how you should feel about yourself you should like it because it's you you should like the way you look that's another thing people always seek validation from other people to feel you know validated to feel like you know good about themselves and that's the worst way to do it i already said that but like you do not need validation from nobody for example with instagram likes the amount of likes people get on a picture dictates how they feel about the picture like what if you think a picture is cute and you like the way you look in that picture why does it matter how many likes you get why if you get 10 likes oh the picture's ugly or if you get a thousand likes oh no this is a valid picture like self-confidence is really all a mental thing everybody in the world could think you're ugly but if you really feel like you're beautiful like it doesn't matter it's all about what you tell yourself i definitely should have plucked this wig a little bit more it's not really giving scalp right now but that's my fault this is how i'm gonna have to wear the wig because it's so small for my head like i don't want y'all to see the um the wig cap i think this wig is 20 inches but honestly it feels like it's like 22 it's kind of long for 20 inches so that's really good because some companies be jipping you of your money and um a lot of people start to get insecure after like a breakup or after they get cheated on or at this you know things like that when it comes to boys but the thing is i gotta realize like boys when they cheat they don't cheat because you did something wrong they cheat because they like it's about themselves like that has nothing to do with you and they try to blame it on you that does not mean anything because no boy's gonna sit there and cheat on somebody that they really want to be with but if you really don't like yourself or you really feel like insecure because a boy did something to you they broke up with you they cheated on you don't the best way to move on and level up stack your bread first of all you gotta glow up when i say glow up i mean you gotta look like a baddie 24 7 like but you know like i'm always gonna look cute i'm gonna go shopping you know have some cute outfits like and just level up like boss up and not only about how i look it's all about growth too like i'm not even worried about you anymore like i'm gonna focus on myself when you go through a breakup that's the best time to level up and that's the best time to work on yourself because it's like all right you cheated or all right you broke up with me but you're gonna see this i bet watch this that's really, that really be my timing. Like, I mean, I haven't been through a breakup in now long, but like, that was my timing. That's the best flex. Like, just to tell somebody like, oh, thank you next. Like, I'm good, I don't want you no more, whatever. Like, and the thing is, they always come back. You always gotta dub them when they do. Cause if you take them back, then you just look like, you know, you look like a clown because you just did all of that to take him back. You gotta dub him when he begged you to take him back. Be like, no, sorry, I'm on, like, and you gonna feel good. You gonna be like, yo, like I really just dumped him. Like, did I really just do that? Like, I used to be in love with him, and I just dumped him. Well, you should be proud of yourself. I'm kind of getting on topic, but like, this this really does help with like self confidence because you just tell yourself things. It's all about what you tell yourself. You can use people as inspiration, but to compare yourself to somebody, nah. 
I'm good off that. All right, so I asked my Instagram like a couple of questions on like self-confidence. So I got a few questions that I'm about to answer. Let me cut this lace first, hold on. So basically the first question is, how to figure out your self-worth after being in a manipulative relationship. Manipulative relationship, I don't know why I said manipulative. Basically what I was saying is don't let a boy or not even just a boy, a girl, anybody. Anyways, don't let like people dictate how you feel about yourself. You know, your self-worth doesn't stem from somebody else's belief. First of all, self-worth, baby, you should know your self-worth. Like clearly, if you was in like a manipulative relationship, then that wasn't the person for you. And of course, it's gonna take a toll on like how you view yourself because people can really make you believe a lot of things. It's gonna take time to, you know, like find yourself again, but just don't let that be like the, you know, like your source of how you feel about yourself. Okay, so like I said, this wig is too small for me. So as you guys can see, like this is just not it. <laughs> and I don't know what to do about that. So we're gonna cover that. If you guys want this wig, the link will be in the description. So make sure you check the description box. But anyways, next question. That's pretty much really like about that. That's just people being miserable and they just want you to be miserable with that. Another question is, how to feel better about being single and not able to have a boyfriend during COVID-19, basically, like, during whole quarantine. Girl, you don't need no boyfriend during COVID. I feel like quarantine, if you were single, that was the best time to focus on yourself. You don't have no distractions. People always want to be in a relationship, and it's like, you don't need to be in one. Why do you, like... I can't stress this enough. I say this like, oh my god, I say this all the time. I said this in multiple videos before. You do not need to be in a relationship. Why do you want to be in a relationship just because there was a whole pandemic? Like, I just hope people know that a relationship does not fix all your problems. People rush their into relationships and they get into relationships with the wrong people and then they end up in situations where they're either being cheated on, they, the person broke up with them, or whatever the case may be. I don't get what's the rush. Especially coming from people my age or younger. Like, girl, I'm not Teen. I'm still a teenager, not for long, but I'm still a teenager. I don't have to have a boyfriend, you know? That's not a necessity. It's not, I need that. You can wait. You're not 40 years old with no kids, not married, and you're, you know, you're dying. Like, I'm sorry, y'all. I just had to go finish the rest of my hair. Um, I just added some baby hairs right here because that's the only place that's really going to be shown. This hair is so silky. Like, I didn't even add no product in it. Okay, somebody said how to not care about what others think of you. Basically, what I was saying, don't. <laughs> like, I know it's easier said than done because, you know, a lot of people do care about what others think but what i be telling myself is everybody has different preferences that's the thing like like the analogy that i use for the sneakers just because like somebody else thinks a pair of sneakers is ugly if you like them and you buy them why do you care what anybody else thinks you know same thing about yourself not everybody is going to like you and that's just a known fact no matter how nice you are no matter how pretty you are no matter how anything you are not everybody is gonna like you and that's okay like it's fine not everybody has to like you you're not on this earth to please everybody you know that's what i be telling myself like i don't need to please you okay it's fine if you don't like me just don't talk to me that's why i don't really care what everybody thinks because not everybody's gonna like me if i really sat there and care what everybody thinks about me I will be one insecure person. You know, like people, okay, I have a big forehead, okay, I already know that. I'm mad tall, my voice is deep. Like I have mad, this is not insecurity, but these are things that people tell me like, you know, or like comment in my YouTube videos and stuff. I don't care, like, first of all, I've had this my whole life. So you telling me this is really gonna make a difference, you know, I, I know I have a big forehead, okay? Like, I grew up with that. You gotta really tell yourself, like, if you like it, then you shouldn't care if somebody else doesn't. Damn, this low-key might take a while. I hate curling hair. Oh, this is gonna take so long. You cannot try to please everybody in this world. You can't. There's too many people to please. That's one. Two, everybody has different preferences. Like, you're gonna not be yourself. You're gonna be too busy worried about other people and what they think about you. And you're not gonna have enough time to focus on what you like and what you want to do. Another thing that I have to say, people treat you the way you perceive yourself. And I said this in my last girl talk. So if you don't respect yourself, nobody's gonna respect you. Meaning, if you feel like you're that bitch and you act like you're that bitch, not act like a bitch, you know, you really like hold yourself up to that, that standard. You know, you just feel like, you know, you're up there and you're up to par. People are gonna look at you and be like, oh, okay, like, you know, I like the way she carries herself or I like the way she thinks about herself or whatever, you know? But if you're always mopey, you're insecure, you don't like about yourself, you always, I hate this, I hate that, people are gonna be like, yo, like, she's mad negative. And it's a work in progress like you're not always gonna love everything about yourself but that's why you work on things it's okay to not love everything about yourself but these next couple like this i'm gonna do these in big sections i don't care 
I just need a little like wave. It would be so nice if I really had the time or the patience to sit here and do all this, but I don't. That's pretty much all I really have to say about um like self confidence because honestly, like the list goes on. There's so many things that I could really sit here and talk to you guys about. But the main thing is all it's all like within yourself. It's all what you tell yourself. It's all a mental thing. Just don't overthink things. Not everybody is perfect. You're not gonna be perfect, so don't even try to be perfect because you're gonna kill yourself trying to be perfect. Like this is not gonna happen. But yeah, I'm gonna come back after I finish scrolling this hair and I'm gonna end this video and then yeah, so I'll be back. Okay guys, so I'm done curling my hair. I'm about to take off this. Can I say take off? <laughs> take off this scarf. Okay, hold on. Let me look at the mirror because all right this looks cute nah this dad looks mad nice for it to be too small like come on because i really don't want these curls to drop after i just spent time curling so i'm gonna use my fingers to like write the curl like separate the curls all right that's cute don't look at the legs like this is not a hair tutorial this is not what that is like i can definitely do better than this but i'm gonna cover it with these curls yes this is giving me very much beyonce all right my earrings are and i'm about to put some lip gloss on from this um company that this is lip gloss that this company sent me it's called aroma bar us i don't know how to pronounce it aroma bar us sorry if i'm mispronouncing this but i'll leave a link in the um description they sent me like lip gloss i'm about to open it let's see i haven't even opened it, it comes in like this little like envelope cute make color thing oh there's multiple okay Okay, so it's Aroma Bar. It's called Aroma Bar. And then the Instagram is Aroma Bar Us. I'll leave it on the screen right here, whatever, or somewhere on the screen. Handmade. Oh, homemade. I can't remember. I say handmade. Homemade and beautiful Cape Cod. Okay, so it's from Cape Cod. Oh my god, these are mad cute. This one, I love like pink stuff. Y'all may know. Pink is my favorite color. Like, y'all may know that. It says beautiful girl. I cannot read. What is wrong with me? I said beautiful. It says baby girl. Where did I get beautiful from? They sent me three lip glosses. It came in like this cute little like pouch thing. I don't know which one this is called. Because oh, it says golden girl. It's right here. This one is golden girl. This one is baby girl. And this one is strawberry shortcake. I don't know which one I want to use right now. Comment down which one y'all think I should have used. I'm gonna probably put on golden girl. Only because I have like gold um like streaks in my hair. I would normally, I probably would have normally used one of these two probably this one but just for the sake of this hair i'm gonna use golden girl let's see oh yeah it's shimmery this is very much like a summertime type of like golden hour lip gloss picture real quick all right so i'm done getting ready that's pretty much it for this get ready with me slash girl talk about self-confidence if you guys want me to do more girl talks about like anything you want literally anything comment down and i'll do it for you guys like i'm gonna be doing that get ready with me it's like you already know like i said when i go back to school just get ready for all these videos i'm about to drop this is gonna be a whole series on my channel like girl talk get ready with me plus whatever the topic is like it's a whole series so like i said if you want this wig it'll be in the description box so make sure you go check that out this wig fire i really like this color nothing me chatting so i hope you guys like this video i hope this helped you guys i really hope like you know you took something from this video don't be afraid to dm me on instagram like my instagram is always in my description box so make sure you follow me make sure you like comment and subscribe on the road to 100k yeah i'll see you guys in the next video bye